So who needs an ag erosion and sedimentation plan? Which is, I'll go over that. So this is the state. Um, all farms that till 5,000 square feet or have an animal heavy use area greater than 5,000 square feet must have an agriculture erosion and sedimentation control plan. These do not need to be submitted for approval, but they must be kept on the farm and made available upon request. So if there's a complaint about uh, erosion coming off your field and washing into the neighbors, I'm the first guy that comes out to the farm to try to help folks out. And the first thing I ask for is your paperwork. Now I'm coming at this from what the state requirements are, more so than the township, because um, so, what do you need to have in an erosion sedimentation control plan? So, boy, that's jumping forward too fast. So, okay, come on. Things jumpy today. So, it must identify your farm, and the second line there. It must have best management practices that limit soil erosion to T, the tolerable soil loss. So it has to be um, the tolerable soil loss, which is not zero, but it's so many times per year, and that varies by soil. Um, you need to have best management practices on fields that are within 100 feet of a stream and that have less than 25% uh, crop residue. They need to minimize manure loss from any animal heavy use areas. And you have to have an implementation schedule and how it has to be written down how you're going to maintain this over time. So you have to have maps that show the streams, the fields, the roads, and where these best management practices are. I'll get into that a little more in a minute. So here's the thing. A current NRCS conservation plan probably meets your agriculture, resident, and sedimentation plan requirements. So if you've got a 40-year-old plan from NRCS that doesn't, isn't what your current operation is, it probably isn't current, but if you've been working with NRCS <coughs> the past five, ten years and it covers your operation, you have a plan already in place. So you can write a plan yourself, and I've given you the template there, um, and you can go to a website called PA One Stop, and that can also help you write it. Remember, the Conservation District can help you write a plan. If you give us a call, we can uh, help you through that. We can come out to your farm and help you write a plan. You can stop by our office. We're here to help you folks out. So here's just an example. The Conservation District actually owns a small crop field. And so the first thing you do is you have the cover page with your basic information. That's pretty straightforward. None of this is that complicated. I'll get to the most complicated part in a minute. So the second page is, what is your operation information? How many acres do you have? What is the description of your operation? What's your crop rotation? And then uh, some basic questions to help you fill out the later sections. Um, are there streams? Do you have animals? And then we'll talk about maps in a minute. And we're going to get into the soils in a minute too here in a little more detail. So when it comes to soil loss, you have to have done a calculation. The revised universal soil loss equation is the standard. And you can do it by hand, but they've got it on the computer. Now with this PA one stop, 
And that's something that I can help you folks with. Um, but you have to calculate what the erosion is based on what your crop rotation and your tillage methods are. If you're no-till, the computer's going to calculate it one way. If you're moldboard plowing, moldboard plowing, that's going to be a different calculation. And Penn State basically came up with a computer program that'll calculate your erosion for your fields um, based on your crop rotation and your tillage methods. So what I did for the Conservation District Grounds is, is I did a one-stop plan and I just refer to it in there. So we also have to do BMPs for this plan. And the BMPs that we recommended for uh, our cropland is to use continuous no-till, have a cover crop after beans, and have a 35 foot buffer along our stream. And since we're within 100 feet of a, a stream, we want to maintain at least a 25% cover on that soil even during the winter. So the next thing you would do is, you know, use the new till planting method as a description, right? And plant a cover crop after beans so that we have that good cover on the ground over winter. And how are you going to maintain this? Um, you're going to plant in accordance with manufacturer recommendations, and you're going to plant your cover crop early enough so that you can have three inches of growth before winter hits. So every operation is different. Your farm. You have your own tillage, you have your own crop rotation. This template, if you can fill this out to match whatever your crop rotation is. <coughs> so, here's for our, our field that's long the stream is a 35 foot stream buffer and maintaining that 25% cover. Okay? And again, I talk about what the BMP is and how it's going to be maintained and how many acres. None of this is too difficult. If you sit down at your kitchen table, you can probably write most of this out pretty <coughs> quick. In fact, if you're going along here with me, you know, you probably don't have time to write it all, but I believe you can think your way through how that fits on your farm. This is just one example. Remember, your farm is unique and your tillage and methods are best for your farm. So then they talk about animal heavy use areas. So if you do have an animal heavy use area, how are you maintaining that so that you're not ending up with manure and soil going into the stream? And that's what you would write here if you have um, an animal heavy use area. And that would be a feedlot, a barnyard, uh, a horse riding ring, things like that where there's no vegetation or very little vegetation. So I talked a little bit about this PA one stop program. <laughs> if you got if you got a teenager, you got a kid, they can go through this like that. Um, and they'll figure it out for you in about five minutes. But if you need some help with that, if you give me a call, I can help you out getting through the computer portion of this because you do have to do a, a Russell soil loss calculation. And basically, if you, you Google PA One Stop Penn State, you, that's what's going to come up. So when you do get, this is what comes out of a PA one stop. Basically a cover page, and then for each one of your fields, since the Conservation District only has one crop field, it basically comes up with this and you have to do it for each field. So if you have 20 fields, 
you'd end up with 20 sections like that. And basically, the T value that I mentioned earlier, the tolerable soil loss, can be on our field is five tons per acre per, per year. And with our, with our plan, our soil loss is less than one ton per year. We're fortunate, it's, it's flat ground, it's no-till, um, but you have to run that calculation. Some soil types have a T value of four or three. Five is about as high as I've ever seen. Um, so that varies and it'll be different for each one of your farms. Okay, I talked earlier about maps. Through this one, through this one-stop program, you can draw maps of your farm. And here I, I used the conservation district grounds and mapped out the different sections as if they were fields. So that is what you would do for your farm. You can also, through this program, um, highlight individual fields. You can get a soils map, and you can get a topographic map, which are what the state requires for these, uh, for an erosion sedimentation plan and for a manure management plan. So these can be developed. There are other programs that can do this. PA One Stop's probably the easiest, the most available, completely free. Just ask any kid; he can get you there. So, if there's ever a complaint or anything, this is what DEP looks for. They go through your plan, and that's all the things that they would look for. Common BMPs would be no-till planting, um, <coughs> cover cropping. Those are the two biggest BMPs that people can implement fairly quickly. Um, there are other BMPs that are more of an engineering type and are a little more, take a little more planning. But I, I always recommend cover cropping, no-till planting, riparian buffers. That's a great place to start to improve your operation and that helps clean up the waterways, reduce your soil erosion, and keep your nutrients on your farm.